Now, in his latest monologue, comedian, and he's a lefty, lefty comedian Bill Maher, strongly supported Israel, pointing out that the left tends to criticise a country that upholds the principles of liberal democracies in a region that's dominated by Islamic fundamentalism. For all the progressives and academics who refer to Israel as an outpost of Western civilization like it's a bad thing, please note, Western civilization is what gave the world pretty much every goddamn liberal precept that liberals are supposed to adore. <laughs> Individual liberty, scientific inquiry, rule of law, religious freedom, women's rights, human rights, democracy, trial by jury, freedom of speech. Please, somebody stop us before we enlighten again. <laughs> and since one can find all these concepts in today's Israel and virtually nowhere else in the Middle East, if anything, the world would be a better place if it had more Israels. Of course, this message falls on deaf ears to the current crop who reduce everything to being only victims or victimizers. So Israel is lumped in as the toxic fruit of the victimizing West. The irony being that all marginalized people live better today because of Western ideals, not in spite of them. Mar Not difficult uh, to agree with with all of that. I mean, he he speaks common sense, uh, a, a trait that's missing from the modern left, but he's still got a bit of it. Yeah, that's right, Rachel. I mean, that, what he was saying was pretty sensible. Um, some people might be surprised what he was saying was so sensible, but um, shouldn't this be applauded? Oh, absolutely. And and uh, he's one of the few who who has got the guts to do that because there there'd be many in his audience who don't like hearing that, but Absolutely. he's happy to say it. Now, I know you like it better. It's Melbourne Cup Day, so Melbourne, public holiday for a horse race. That's how we do things. Uh, look at these odds from Sportsbed. Sportsbet, uh, latest odds on the 2024 US presidential election. Interesting indeed. Donald Trump is now favourite to win at $2.63, while Joe Biden is $2.80. We've got a couple of uh, outsiders there in Gavin Newsom and Nikki Haley. This obviously follows polling that I'll be discussing later in the program with Josh Hammer. But uh, interesting result. Would you be having a punt on that, $2.63? Oh, look, Rita, it's still a while out till this takes place. Don't even place. know who our nominees are going to be. That's right. <laughs> but uh, I certainly think Trump's got a, a pretty good chance. But coming up against Joe Biden, he hasn't got much competition if this does play out that way, does he? Well, Joe would disagree with that characterisation. <laughs> Sophie, that's very nasty. Um, <laughs> Now, this story, I had to double check to see if this was actually true because it sounds too crazy, but sadly it is true. Anne Frank has become the latest figure to be uh, a victim of cancel culture and efforts to be inclusive. A kindergarten in East Germany has decided to change its name from Anne Frank to World Explorer Kindergarten to be more inclusive. This has sparked debate amid the... Israel Hamas conflict. And uh, so, before I get your response, I want to uh, get the commentary of my favourite parody account on Twitter, Titty McGrath, who said, Fantastic to hear that the Anne Frank kindergarten is being renamed to be more diverse and progressive. Which of the following would work best? Queen Latifah Day Centre, Michelle Obama Playgroup. O.J. Simpson, Preschool Wonderland, or River to Sea, World of Adventures. Uh, of course, that account is run by the very droll uh, Andrew Doyle. But how can they do this? How can they try to erase not just history, but to see Anne Frank as not sufficiently inclusive? Well, we're just going to see more and more of this, Rita, where they are actually stamping out history and trying to rewrite it. And I think that's really concerning. Just erase it and move on. And we're going to see more and more of this as we go into this woke world that we live in now. And I think I know why they're making that decision, because there might be certain demographics who are not happy with that name. 